Hello guys and welcome to the lesson 6 of Make Stories 101 course. In this course, we are going to take a look at how you can configure your background and you how you can set some of the properties for your background. Okay, so in the last video, we saw how you can use overlay and this is where we left. Now you can see that uh, till now we have something that's done uh, and then I will just change the font for this. I'm going to change this to Poppins because I love that font. Yeah. So now, um, if you, okay, you see, I, I pinged on the live chat and Chintan is here. So I will just reply him saying that nothing, making a video. Uh, and showing our users how they can communicate with us in real time to get their issues resolved i hope he does not disturb us again okay yeah finally please leave me alone jim bye bye okay great so you can see our support is always around the corner and we are always there to help you okay sorry for that so now you can see that we have things getting built up and i am really excited to now take you to the next level so you can see that we have this image over here we have the overlay we also have top interior designs of 2020 so the the story is now shaping up so the next thing that we will do is we will set do some customizations now, whenever you want to customize your background, all you have to do is you have to click the background. And in the right hand side, you will see an option depending on what kind of uh, background you have used. So suppose if you have used a image background, you will get image settings over here. So now I click on image settings and then over here, it will ask me if you have, if you have want to have the alternative text for your image. So this is good for accessibility and it will help you rank your stories on Google or any search engine. So now I will, I can leave it blank right now. You don't have to do it because whenever you publish the st web story and the story validation option, it will give say you that your image does not have an alt text. And when you click that, you will be shown an option to fill in the alt text. So, but, but doing that before, can come handy and you won't have to waste your time when you try to publish your story. So I will click this and I have the image alternative text. So I key in um, like a decorative item for now. The next option is called filter. So this filter is available for colors, uh, sorry, for, for image and for videos. So these are basically the filters that you use on Instagram or something like that or any other edit photo editing app. So these are predefined filters that we have offered for in a, with the, uh, within the tool. So now if you want to change or you don't like any of these stuff, then you can control all of these brightness contrast using these options. Like you can introduce a little bit of blur then you can do a little bit of grayscaling or you can add a sapi effect so you see that so but i'm not good at all these things because i am not a designer but if you have a good designer or you are a great designer by yourself i'm pretty sure that you can take care of these things very easily so we we have seen the settings for image and then when you use an image background you will also get an option to animate them please see that the background animation option will come only when you will use the image background now you don't have to confuse the background animation with the animated backgrounds these two things are completely different so i will go into the animation tab right now and i will select the effect most the zoom in and zoom out are the effects that we suggest our users to use because they have the best output possible and they are the ones that look really beautiful so i will click on zoom in and i will uh, apply it for 10 seconds 
and then i will click on play now when when you click on play you will be able to see how this effect looks in real time so again i will save the story now and i will try to check it out over here so now you can see that the same effect is applied here in the output and the image is zooming in for 10 seconds same way you can use the zoom out effect so zoom out effect as the name suggests it will zoom out the image so these are the effects that you can use one effect that you have is called the Kanban's effect please see that you won't be able to see the Kanban's effect in inside the editor to preview the Kanban's effect you will have to use the um, preview of the story so when you click on Kanban's the first image that you have here will already be taken and then all you have to do you have to add another slide and select an image so let's say i have selected one image over here then i will add another slide i will add one more image uh, let's add this one and then for each of the image you can select the transition and whether it will zoom in or it will zoom out so i have zoom in for this for like three seconds then i have pan right uh, with zoom out for three seconds and then i have pan up for zoom in for three seconds so now we have we are done with this three images i will save this and now i will view the kanban's effect so you can see this is the kanban's effect and this is a by default from the amp team so if you have any questions regarding kanban's effect you can get in touch with the amp team uh, we suggest you to use the mask effect which is, because it is much more uh, better and it has better visibility and user experience compared to the Kanban's effect. Okay, so th with that, we are done with the image settings and with the image animations. Now, if you are using a video or a GIF animation, uh, sorry, GIF background, then the settings will change. So let's say I am selecting video background and I have um, this video over here. So now when I will click on the video or on the background, the video settings will appear. So now I will click on video settings. So I, I have already shown you how to use the video loop. And now the videos don't have the alt attribute. The videos have the title attribute. So I would write here a scene on the beach. One thing that you can add to your videos are the video captions. And these captions come really handy and let me see if i have a caption file on my desktop mm, these are very big ones okay so i have now if you don't have a video caption please see that you can also generate your own vtt files and we suggest you to use vttcreator.com for that and you can click on create captions so these are the captions that are readily available and then here you can upload your own video and you can check it uh, what i will do is i will use so this is like a video caption for about for a video of about eight seconds so i will download this as a vtt file i won't download it as an srt file now i will click the background i will click on add subtitle file suppose you have a story that's uh, for multiple audiences then Depending on the uh, language of the browser, their video files, caption files can change. So here you can select the language that you have and you can add multiple VTT files. So here I will select English United States and then I will either I can use my own subtitle URL or I can click on upload. So this is the button for upload. When you do this, you will be provided with a, with a normal, a, a small media uploader. It is not as massive as the media manager that we have seen in seen before. So I will just drag drop this. Oh, sorry. I will just click on browse your computer and I will go in my download section and I will find the dot VTT file that we okay, where have we saved that? Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so I will just select this. Now once it is uploaded, I will click on this. So you can see that it is now clicked and I will click on add subtitle. Here you have a warning saying that video subtitles are not shown in the editor. 
so now if you want to see this video subtitles you will have to click on unsaved changes and you will have to refresh this I will, okay one thing that you have to remember is that when you use the video subtitles please refrain from having any text over here so i will delete this and i will also remove the video uh, background overlay and now i will try to refresh and you can see that over here we have the video captions coming up okay so now we have seen that for a video you can use the video caption files again the filters that we have applied to the images they can also be applied to the videos i think that's the and then you cannot animate a video so you when it when you click the when you apply the video as a background and go into the animation settings it will say you that you don't have any animatable element so you cannot animate a background video at this point of time neither in make stories nor in web stories so with that i think we are done with everything and anything related to background so it was a massive six lesson course only on backgrounds so now you know because because we have tried to uh, do an in-depth and video on only backgrounds because background is the only thing that is going to make your story very interactive and very beautiful i hope that with this all your questions related to backgrounds are now solved again if you have any questions you can ask us on live chat or you can also join our forum so in the next video we will start with the templates